Hello and welcome to My Drumming. This is part 26. It's a song by Guns N' Roses and it's called My Michelle. Now this was a song that was suggested to me that I do. Uh, I think it was around about the time I'd just done Sweet Child of Mine, so I was into a Guns N' Roses phase at the time. Uh, so doing this song is really good because it's a great song. Um, I remember learning this um, back in the day and thinking how good it would be to actually play this song live. So I've never actually played this song live, whereas I have Sweet Child of Mine. Um, so hopefully you like this, hopefully it's a song you'll enjoy doing as well. So we'll get straight into it now. Um, at the beginning of the song we've got patterns one, two, three and four and they are literally just cymbal crashes as the song builds. So just on a four count we've got the quavers coming in on one and two and three and four and so just... <laughs> things like that just as the song is building. It's very difficult to know exactly what Stephen Adler is playing here but that sort of build you can get the message. Um, actually have a look at the music for this song now then you can see what I've written and you can have a look at what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. So here's the music now. And then after the cymbal builds, you've just got one snare drum coming in on beat three. So pattern four is one, two, three, four. That's it. Now, although there's 27 patterns in this song, loads of the patterns are variations on a similar theme. So instead of playing all of them through one by one, you can see from looking at the music already that they're very similar. So patterns 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 18 are all along the same theme. So I'll just play those through now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now pattern 5, it's two lots of 8 and the first lot of 8, you've got a cymbal crash on the first beat accompanied by a bass drum. Then your second bass drum beat is on beat five and your snare drums come on three and seven. So the first part of pattern five goes. And then the second part of pattern five, you've got bass drums on the one, two, the four and a half and the six with a cymbal coming on seven and snare drums coming on three and seven. So the second part of pattern five goes. Now, like I say, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 18 are all variations of pattern five. You've either got cymbal beats at the beginning and on beat seven of the second lot of eight, or in pattern six, you don't have a cymbal beat at the beginning. Pattern seven, instead of the second pattern of eight, you've just got a cymbal crash and then cowbell. So I've turned the cowbell, uh, well, I've turned the floor tom into a cowbell here. So on pattern seven, on beats three and five, you've got hi hat and cowbell at the same time. Um, so pattern seven just ends with. So again, that, that's, that's a fairly similar, well, it's an identical beginning as pattern five, but pattern seven ends just slightly different with the cowbell. Pattern eight is same again, just with a symbol at the beginning. Pattern nine has no symbols and a hi-hat on beat one at the beginning. So that's just a... going through the pattern that way. And then patterns 10 is the same for the first three bars, but the final bar of pattern 10 just is a... 
So again, same beats all the way through, but just different variations. And the final variation is pattern 18, and there's more cymbal beats through that. So pattern 18 just starts with a cymbal crash. That was pattern 18. Now, I'm aware I've whipped through those fairly quickly, but I don't think there's a need to play all of them individually, just where there's odd symbol differences, and you can see those as you look through the music. So hopefully that makes sense. Any questions, please shout if that's not clear. So going back to patterns 11, 15 and 23, they're variations on the same thing as well. So pattern 23 I'll do first, because that's on the ride cymbal. So it's a count of eight, and the snare drums come in on two, four, six, and eight, with bass drums coming in on one, three, four and a half, five and a half, seven, and seven and a half. So it's quite a complicated one. Um, I'll play, now I've picked pattern 23 first because there's no cymbals on it. So I'll just play pattern 23 through now so you can see how that goes. So that was at a different speed of the song. The song is actually much faster. Um, and then if we take pattern 11, pattern 11 has cymbal crashes on the second set of snare drums. So you've got the snare drums in the same place on 2, 4, 6 and 8, the bass drums in the same place on 1, 3, 4 and a half, 6 and a half, 7 and 7 and a half, and you've got the ri rides on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7, with cymbal crashes on six and eight. So have a look at the music again, and hopefully that'll make more sense. So I'll now play pattern 11 through for you. And then pattern 15 is different just because there's instead of the one, two, three, four on the ride, it starts with symbols. So pattern 15 goes like this. So you can see that 11, 15, and 23 are similar but have slight differences that make them different enough for me to play through them quickly rather than just say, oh yeah, they're slightly different. There's the odd cymbal crash, because they do differ quite a lot. So now looking at the rest of the beats, we've got other similarities with 12, 13, 14 and 22. So if we take pattern 12 first, that is, um, and, and the reason why I said there's similarities between those four patterns is because they all start the same, I think. I'm just checking that now. 14 and 22. Yeah, they all start the same. And they start with the first eight. So the first eight count is eight on your ride, and then bass drums on one, three, five and seven snare drums on two, four, six and eight. So it goes. Now the second half of pattern 12, you've got an eight count. Rides come on one, two, three, four. Snares come on two, four, six and eight. And bass drums come in quavers on beat one and beat three. So it goes like this. Now the second half of pattern 13 is a bit different because you've got quavers on beat one, three, five and seven on the bass drum with snare drums coming in on two, four, six and eight. The snare drums are accompanied by the crash and when you're not playing the crash, you're playing the ride. 
So the end part, the end half of pattern 13 goes like this. Pattern 14 is the same through but just with on the cowbell at the final four beats of the second lot of eight. Other than that, the first three bars of pattern 14 are the same as the first bar of pattern 14. And then pattern 22, um, you've got exactly the same again previously, but instead of the... There's no cymbal crashes, so it just goes... all the way through that's pattern 22. Now patterns 16, 26 and 24 are similar to the previous patterns that we've just run through because they are just rides, snare drums and quavers on the bass drum at the same time so that repeated again all the way through. So that was pattern 24 that I've just played now pattern 26 is similar to patterns 12, 13, 14 and 22 because you have that one end, one end, one end on the, with the quavers being played on the bass drum but I actually realised that I've played this wrong in the song because I've played the song through and recorded it already and I play this bit on the ride, it should be on the open hats. So pattern 26 is on the open hats and it goes snare drums on the two, four and six, bass drum quavers on the one, three and the five, and then a crotchet single beat on beat seven, and then a cymbal crash on beat seven and a half. So pattern six play, sorry, pattern 26 sounds like this. And then I mentioned pattern 24 earlier, covered that, and we're just going back to pattern 16 to see how different that is. Oh yeah, that's just that's just symbols instead, so that's pattern 16. So you can see the similarities all throughout there. Now the beats where there aren't any similarities is um, pattern 17. Now pattern 17 is quavers on the snare drum, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and, and bass drums on 1, 3, 5 and 7. So pattern 17 is... So patterns 19, 20 and 21 are all variations on the same theme again. There's differing symbols or no symbols or double symbols. That's the main difference. So looking at pattern 19, the first lot of eight, you have bass drums on one, two, four and a half and six, with snare drums coming in on three and seven and a cymbal crash on one. And then in the second lot of pattern 19, you've got bass drums on one, two, four, five, six, and seven and a half. Snare drums again on three and seven. But then you've got ride pattern played on one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a cymbal crash on seven and a half. So sounds very busy, and it's it's actually a slower part of the song. It's played at a slow it's played at a slower tempo than the rest of my Michelle. So I'll play pattern 19 through for you now so you can see how it sounds. So that was pattern 19 through. Pattern 20 is the same, but there's just no cymbal crash at the end. Now pattern 21 I should actually have mentioned earlier because it's a variation on the same beat which appears in 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, all those ones that we did at the beginning of the video. The only difference is instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 at the
the beginning of it, it's a so that's the difference on there. Now we've only got uh, two other beats remaining in this song, which is beats 25 and 27. So 25 is very similar to number 17, um, and instead of a quaver being played every beat, it's a semi-quaver every beat, so it's a lot faster. So in the song it's actually at that speed, so it's, it's quite fast going through, so that'll take a bit of practice. I always find it's better. The way I count those through is every bass drum beat, instead of trying to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I say, I say the word caterpillar. So it's caterpillar. Caterpillar is going on in my head all those times. Quite fast as you're saying it. So have a practice of that. Hopefully that might help you. And pattern 27 is very straightforward. It's an eight count on the hi-hats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But here now is the song in its entirety. This is My Michelle by Guns N' Roses. I hope you enjoy it.
So there we are, that's the song through. Now I've already realised that there's a couple of things that I've done wrong. I played the ride instead of the hi-hat at the end and I missed a couple of snares, uh, sorry, I missed a couple of cymbals. And this is probably the fifth or sixth time that I've played the song through and where there's so many cymbals and so many different beats all over the place. To get it perfect, I think I've only played the song through once rehearsal perfectly and I think this is as good as it's going to get so hopefully you've played along hopefully you've enjoyed listening to it and watching it hopefully you've learned something there it is there's the song hope you liked it I'll catch you in the next video cheers bye bye